Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a bit of a journey. We're going down to Winnipeg, so we're going from Toronto to Winnipeg. And we're going to go pick up some calipers for my Genesis. I'm going down with my brother. Yeah, we're going to Manitoba, you know, 20 plus hours uh, of drive one way. So we're heading out today. Right now the time is 6.24. So it's going to take us 20 plus hour drive. So I hope we get there quick as possible. So join us for our journey and stay tuned. Guys, so we'll be taking Mitsubishi, you know, SUV. We're doing a bit of work on there, making sure everything is all good before we leave for our trip. Well, is everything topped up? Yeah. It's gonna be the longest. It's gonna be a 20-hour 20 20 drive or so. 40 hours, 20 something going, 21. Yeah, 20 going there, 20 coming back. Yeah. Longest drive. Getting the whole car ready, and then yeah. Reach Barry now. It's about eight o'clock, so it took us almost an hour and a half to get here. Stop for some snacks, pull up some gas and we're heading there slowly. Sudbury, uh, we're taking the way to get to Sudbury. We're going to Perry Sound slash Sudbury, Ontario 69. That's the right two lanes. Uh, sign's empty. <laughs> yeah. Highway 400 North. Keep right at the fork to continue on Ontario 400, Sudbury. Took a beating so far. <laughs> Been driving for almost six hours. All right, so we just crossed the border and we ran into a bit of an issue. My phone just got reset. Randomly, my phone reset. No connection, nothing. Roaming off, internet off. It was randomly reset. Don't know what it was. Everything's deleted. And it says it was authorized on, there was unauthorized access to my phone. Now I don't know what the fuck happened. Everything's gone. Yeah, as soon as you cross the border, everything's fucking gone. Everything's fucking gone. Fucking bullshit is this. I need to get the guy's contact again. Now fucking halfway through the fucking trip and this bullshit happens. Yeah, we cross the US border and shit, like maybe this is fucked. Everything got white, dog. Wisconsin. Yeah, we're in Wisconsin right now. About six hours in, yeah, we're in Wisconsin. Phone still doesn't work. <laughs> uh, about six hours and 32 minutes more to go. A deep journey. Yeah. Alright, y'all. It's a quick break. We just took, you know, wait some snacks and shit, fill up gas. Shit, still not full tank. Damn. So we're almost there to uh, Winnipeg there. Almost there, like 500 kilometers. So we're finally entering Winnipeg after driving for 18 hours. We have about two hours more to go and we're there to pick up the Rainbow calipers. So this is the Canadian border. So two more hour drive until our 20 hour trip is done. Yeah. Guys, so we're finally in uh, Winnipeg. Uh, close to downtown, but we're not fully there yet. Um, we're six minutes away from our destination. And yeah, we're gonna go pick up our parts that we came. 20 hours. <laughs> There's the Genesis. Your destination is on the right. So we're here to pick up the parts from this guy. Four calipers. So all four of them, the rear, and those are the front. You can see how big they are. And we got them a pretty good price. Oil catch can as well. This is, we need this. Otherwise, you know, it's not a good idea to run without this. So this is a guy that we came to see all the way from Toronto to uh, Manitoba, Winnipeg. Oh, Winnipeg. Get some brown Brembos. Uh, so that's my whip. Let's see. It's got the touch tail. Expect the headlights. Purple fog lights. Some rice salt stickers. Uh, HKF. Charge five H gets ball out intake, uh, Piranha Race Works Dune, uh, full three inch exhaust, and, uh, single exit. You can check it out, it's pretty cool. cool. Then, uh, that's it so far. That's all you did so far? Not bad, pretty cool. Yeah, like the lights on that, it looks almost closer to my tires. Yeah, yeah right for us one time. Let's see how it sounds. Oh, you want me to? Yeah, but if it's okay with you, yeah. But we gotta go like a little bit outside if you wanna follow me in your car. Okay. Yeah, because I don't wanna. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's my name. No, I just see that really good. I'm like, yo, it sounds, it might sound nice. 
Which way you guys cap back then? Uh, yeah, I saw. Okay, no, not I saw. Turbo XS RS. Oh, Turbo XS. Okay, yeah, you can okay. see on the other side. So just a yeah. single. So are you still running from turbo back or you just put like manifold? Uh, it's uh, from the, the uh, uh, O2 housing back. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, that's actually pretty quiet then. See, I mean, it's the muffler taking right? some of the noise away. Yeah. It's yeah. way too quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Turbo back too. Yeah. Was that silencer? No, no, no. That's the There's a muffler and a resonator. That's yeah. it. That that's helps with the noise, yeah. yeah. But, uh, I got an HKS uh, muffler off somebody. I need one quick, right? Because yeah. I think it was way too loud. And I got to complain about it too, you know? So. Yeah. No, this opens up <laughs> high, high revs. And okay, it's, uh, okay. Yeah. It's pretty low. I like level. the deep rumble to it. Oh, it's the deep so tone. deep, bro. When oh, I drive, geez. it's just like... All right, we'll follow, we'll follow this way, and then we'll have a quick video of it. Nice. So, yeah, we got the Brembo's, and we got the uh, uh, oil catch can. So, so it's worth it. 2,000 plus kilometers. Yeah. 2,100 one way. And then now we're 2,000, maybe 3,000 on the way back. We're going to stop by Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Yeah. Oh, that's a HKS. HKS sounds so nice. Loki, my shoe flings. He's pushing 300 to the crank. He has a uh, two on there as well. So I guess that's kind of nasty. Yeah. That's the thing about power, when you just twist the tires and rear like that? Oh. That's the HKS blow off though. Right? No, no, no. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Nice, bro. Thanks for coming, yo. Good luck there. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. So we're finally back. It's a pretty long journey. <laughs> uh, Winnipeg, no, downtown Winnipeg, all the way back to um, Brampton and then Mississauga. It's 4,100 kilometers of driving. That's constantly. So a day and a half. Thing consumed a lot of gas, but. That's fine. It was a fun journey. Yeah, there there wasn't much footage when when we were driving. Ah, uh, because it was nighttime and this camera barely picked up anything, and like it was really dark. Plus, everyone was sleeping too, or we're switching drivers here and there, so it was barely anything to catch inside uh, when driving. But yeah, you guys will see a hyperlapse. I have a hyperlapse set up, and you'll see from here to Winnipeg, you'll see the trip. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.